Christmas stockings are such a classic piece of holiday decor, and machine embroidery is a perfect way to make them personal. In this video, we'll show you how to make a classic Christmas stocking accented with your choice of machine embroidery. Click the link in the description to find a written version of these project instructions from Embroidery Library, along with lots of beautiful embroidery designs to embellish your stocking. First, you'll need your stocking pattern. Click the link in the description to find this pattern at Embroidery Library. Print out each piece, then tape the pieces together and cut out the shapes. We're using an upholstery weight fabric for the outside of this stocking. To prepare the fabric that you're going to embroider, spray a piece of medium weight cutaway stabilizer with temporary spray adhesive, then smooth your fabric on top. Trace the pattern pieces onto your fabric using an air erase pen, but don't cut them out yet. We're going to embroider before we cut out the shapes. Make sure to leave enough room around the edges of your shape you're planning to embroider so that you'll be able to hoop the fabric. To help with placement, print out your embroidery design at actual size using embroidery software. Use an air erase pen to mark the center and the access lines. The top of the stocking will fold over to make the cuff. Keep this in mind when you're choosing where to place your design. Hoop the fabric and the stabilizer together. Stitch out your embroidery design onto the fabric. After the design is finished stitching, cut away the excess stabilizer. Leave about half an inch around the edge of the design. Now that the embroidery is finished, cut out all your fabric stocking pieces. Pin the outer fabric pieces right sides together. Then sew a half inch seam around the sides and bottom. Leave the top edge open. Clip the seam allowance around the curves so that the seam will look nice once it's turned inside out. Next, make the lining in the same way as you did the outside of the stocking. Sew the front and back pieces right sides together, then clip the curves. We're using quilter's cotton for the lining. Turn the outer stocking right sides out and press the seams. Then slip the outer stocking into the inside out lining so the right sides are together. Pin the raw edges together. Sew a half inch seam along the top edge, but leave an opening of about three inches on the back side of the stocking. Turn the stocking right side out through the opening and tuck the lining inside the outer stocking. Fold under the fabric at the opening and press it. Then stitch a quarter inch seam along the entire top edge of the stocking. Fold over the top edge of the stocking to create the cuff and press it in place. The last step is to create a loop for your stocking. Cut a piece of fabric two inches by nine inches. Press it in half lengthwise, then fold in each long edge to meet the center and press again. Tuck one end of this fabric strip into the other end, then sew a seam right along the folded edge. Pinch one end of the loop closed, then hand sew it onto the back seam of the stocking. That's it, your stocking is finished. Check out the links in the description for even more ideas to make your stocking unique. We hope you enjoyed this video. For more machine embroidery projects and inspiration, as well as beautiful machine embroidery designs, visit us at emblibrary.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great machine embroidery videos.